welcome to The Social View. I'm Sam. And I'm Sadler. On tonight's show, we've got Olympics, gaming, movies, and much more. But first up, social media. The only thing that knows us better than our own families do. 81% of teens use it. And 25% of teens said that they felt happier online than real life. And the other 75 just didn't take the survey. <laughs> <laughs> While the adults, they were busy sharing their minion memes. <laughs> Moving on to Great Yarmouth. Loads of citizens from Great Yarmouth take great inspiration from a famous video game. They run around collecting what they want while being chased by flashing blue lights. GTA? No, Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, those times oh. were fun. And we have people reliving that fun right now at a gaming ex exhibition that we have a sneak peek on, which is on tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, at Channel 4. Here it is. There was a gaming event at the Drill House in Great Yarmouth on the 30th of November which was organised by Yab and Matt. We were lucky enough to film and be involved in this event. There are various stations to go to and test out such as a real life Tetris game, Space Invaders, a virtual reality game and a retro gaming tent. That was actually pretty interesting. I agree. It's great to see so many people coming together because of their favourite pastime. My favourite hobby is going to the cinema. Oh yeah? Did you hear the new Sonic movies coming out pretty soon? Oh, I did, and what a terrible disaster the first draft was. It was awful, and the fact that they both redesigned him really goes to show that there's still hope when it comes to Hollywood taking criticism. I couldn't agree more. Plus, Jim Carrey is in it. The last film I remember seeing him in was Anchorman 2. That was back in 2013. That was a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. Who knew the thing to drag him out of his cave was a supersonic hedgehog? <laughs> Can you imagine? a race between Sonic and Usain Bolt. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I can imagine that. And Sonic would win without a doubt. What are you talking about? He wouldn't win. Of course he would. He's a fictional character. And if you've given them a race, then he would win. Usain Bolt has been getting gold medals consistently for years. And if Sonic was real, you didn't think that he'd have some knocking about? Definitely not. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> are you going to the Olympics? Where is it again? It's being held in Japan this year. Mm, that's too far away from me. Too far? Yeah, I'll be sitting at home watching. On your sofa? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. It's definitely cheaper that it way. It is cheaper, yeah. Plus, you can do it in your pants, which you can't <laughs> do if you actually go, as Svetlin here found it out. <laughs> can't yeah, record tough. there anymore, can we, Svetlin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do you play any sports? Of course then? I do. You don't get biceps like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get that? Oh, you know. <laughs> What is that? Javelin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have you ever javeled before? No, I haven't. Well, take your hand, put it yep. in front of you. Now, we're going to test the weight of our javelin, which you, not a lot of people know you have to do. The heavy javelins, light javelins. Mine's a heavy javelin, mm. right? So you got to pick that. it up. Oh, <laughs> talk about that later. You pick it up and yep. you sort of test the weight for it. Test the weight just so you see, get a feel yeah, yeah. for it. And then what you do, yeah, it does, it does, it doesn't does it? Does Everyone good. should javel a little bit now and again. <laughs> so huck it over your shoulder, and we're going to throw it down the lens at camera one. Yep. <sighs> Bet you were scared, weren't you? <laughs> good. Oh, we've had a great show today, and we're so happy to do this every week. Now for you, we have a tattoo expedition. Ex, ex, how ex do you say that word? Exhibition. Exhibition, that's it, right there. <laughs> that, for you to take a look at. <laughs> My name is John Capon, been a tattooist since 1977, uh, 30 of those years or more in Yarmouth. Really I, I guess when I, I used to draw tattoos as a, as a youngster and when I first got one a sort of magic captured me and I started drawing for a tattooist and worked my way into the industry that way. Hi, I'm River, I'm a tattoo apprenticeship, I've only really been tattooing for like maybe a month, month and a half at this point. Um, I've been volunteering at Self Made Tattoo in Yama. I found that I've always had like a big passion for tattoos. My dad's had a lot of tattoos. I've designed tattoos for him because I was quite arty. Um, and then yeah, I kind of just found more of a passion in, you know, creating art which is going to be permanent on people's bodies and stuff like that. Some of them do have some meaning like this one. Um, have you, are you aware of the Out There Festival? I've been going to that one pretty much since they started. Well, last year uh, I found like a big piece of art on one of the homes, like because they obviously like live in their uh, vans. 
one of them had done like a huge piece of art and I had a conversation with the actual performer and like it was a really really deep conversation and I ended up taking a picture of what they had on their van and I had it like redrawn up and I had it tattooed because it was like such a kind of life changing thing like conversation. I started in uh, Haverhill in Suffolk working part time from home I was a roofing tiler. Then I worked, then I found a studio in, uh, opened the first studio in Clacton in 1980. And when they sold uh, the, the Bucklings there, I thought that was time to move. And uh, I came here via Bury St Edmunds. And then I came and opened up on the Wellington Pier about 19, 1986, I believe. <laughs> I love it, is that me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's funny, I've got you on my right cheek. Oh yeah, that's cool. And your sister on my left? Yeah, same. We need to talk about that after the show. We really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we do. first, we have a brand new app to show off. Uh, it's called the Social View Live. And there are many behind the scene videos of our production team. Of course, with many features with your two favorite presenters. Ant and Deck. <sighs> no. Oh, Hole and Phil. No, Svetlin, us. Oh, us. yes, yeah. I guess we're good too, yeah. Yeah, we are, we didn't win the NTA. It's not always about winning. Yeah. But no. did enjoy the after party. We met loads of great people and all the photos that we took that night are on our app and our Instagram, so please go check that out. Which is the social view on all social medias. Check Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of those because we're on all of them. And you can send us direct messages or tweet us using hashtag the social view live. Which I will remind everyone is brand new. We've never done anything like this before. We'll be reading your messages and tweets live. And don't forget to tweet when we're live. And when we're not, go check out the videos on the app. We've got behind the scenes, best moments, and maybe a few pranks I've played on Svetlin here. <laughs> Speaking of best moments, mine, was, mine has to be from last week when we had to do the apple bobbing. And you no, no, <laughs> no, 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 we're not talking about that on today's, on today's show at all, I'm we'll afraid. We'll talk about it next time. I don't think we it's will. It's on the internet No, anyway. it isn't. Don't check that one out. <laughs> Oh. Oh. But from now, we're going to say goodbye. It's been a pleasure doing our show. We will see you next week. Don't forget that tweet thing we told you about. We will yep. be reading those out, and it would be a shame if you missed out. And thanks for watching, and Thank goodbye. you, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>